Again, you want to talk about secret knowledge or esoteric knowledge type of thing. Well, you look at the Catholic Church a lot of no, we're going to read the book to you. We don't want you to read the book. We want to read it to you so we can right. tell you what to believe. So again, you're seeing the same thing there of the foundation that's been laid out. Yeah. For all this stuff. And and another one is you you talked about the, the charismatics and and whatnot. Well, the charismatics came out of the Catholic Church. You look at somebody like Catherine Kuhlman, who was one of the big leaders of the signs and wonders, but also refused to preach on any stage that didn't also have a Catholic uh, pastor or priest yeah. that was sitting there on the stage with her. Well, that brought in a whole new level of deception of what's going on with the Catholics and the signs and wonders, the NAR, New Apostolic Reformation. And we see all this stuff moving too. And that's experience-based, similar to what we see with Catholicism. I think experience is going to be one of the biggest things that's going to bring everybody together under the same roof. What do you think about that? Oh, absolutely. And dare I say, because it's experience, experience is what's called subjective, meaning it's subject to your emotions or your experience, which means you can't test it. I mean, I wasn't there when you had your goosebumps on top of your goosebumps. I wasn't there when you supposedly had a vision from God with his angel. You were taking a shower and the, the light of supposedly of the spirit of God shined on your armpit and you had this vision. You know, I can't test that. You know, that's the kind of stuff that they say, you know, or God told me to tell you to tell me to tell you to tell. To tell. I wasn't inside your head. That's why we stick with what's called the objective truth, the word of God. Mm -hmm. I don't need any of that other stuff. Right. But but the problem is, once you get out the word of God and you go by your experience, uh, we know for sure that's going to be a big thing that's going to do people in the seven year tribulation. Because what does the Antichrist uh, write in on and the false prophet? False lying signs and yep. wonders and miracles. What's that? That's this experience, dude. That, that's that's ooh, that's a show. I mean, look at that. That had to have been from the Spirit of God. No, even Satan masquerades as the angel of light, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't always show up freaking you out uh, with demons. Sometimes you go, I had goosebumps on top of my goosebumps, and you weren't there. I cried alligator tears, and it had to be from God. No, that doesn't mean it's God's Spirit, right? But when you get off the Scripture, you can be deceived, right? And this is why even the Catholics, what they say, well, we got a Bible. Well, first of all, your Bible ain't the same as our Bible, number one. But really, when push comes to shove, that's not where they get their source of truth from. Their source of truth from is from the popes. It's from the early church fathers that support their false teachings. And it's from what's called the church councils. That's men. Mm -hmm. That's man-made men. That's why they're so far off base. You look at uh, much of the charismatic theology. They say, well, we got a Bible. Well, push cousin to shove. You don't even follow the Bible. Mm -hmm. You follow your experience. And then even what you pull out and cherry pick from the Bible is usually, unfortunately, taken out of context just to reinforce your experience. And so what happens is you're going to be duped. That mindset is going to dupe people because here's, here's the deal. You can't be duped if you stick with this, mm -hmm. but if you get away from this, then that's why we have so many false teachers, not just in the church today, but it's that mindset. I agree with you, Zach, that is going to be used by the antichrist and the false prophet. And, and you talk about goosebumps on your goosebumps. You talk about crying alligator tears. You talk about having a spiritual experience. Oh, you're going to have one if you're left behind in the seven-year tribulation, only it's not from the Spirit of God. It's satanic. Mm -hmm. The Bible is very clear that the false prophet and the Antichrist is empowered by the dragon. Revelation 12 verbatim clearly says, without debate, the dragon is Satan. So these mm -hmm. guys are going to be satanically inspired, and you will have a spiritual experience. It ain't from the, uh, the Spirit of God. Oh, uh, and by the way, it's funny you mentioned up the, the charismatic aspect. Uh, just to drop a little plug, two days ago, uh, we just released finally in book format our mega study on uh, on that aspect, our deep dive on the, the charismatic stuff going on. Uh, and so uh, it's a it's a two volume set, and but basically it's charismatic chaos, the untold history of the charismatic movement, and we bring all this out. Uh, unfortunately, what's going on and much of much of what goes on in charismatic circles not only gets people off the scripture, which means now the floodgates are open for you to be deceived, unfortunately, but we trace the trail with much of their behavior uh, and and the people that started. And this is pre Azusa Street Revival. Uh, OK, OK, OK. We traced it that far back. We're we're bringing 
the experience mentality into charismatic circles from new age and the occult. I'm glad that you plugged that in there because uh, I was hoping you would, because I actually got the email this morning uh, from uh, Sunrise Bible Church about the yeah. release of that. So I was like, okay, hopefully he'll plug that in there. Um, <laughs> so cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's this, this experience-based thing I think is, is a very important aspect because of lot, a lot of what we see, at least here in the West, is a lot of these churches are going basically it's, we want you to have an experience. We want you to experience the Holy Spirit. And we're going to go so far to not even listen to what the word of God says, but we're going right. to tell you that if you don't believe in what we're telling you, which is the opposite of what scripture is, then you have a bad translation. You've been told that this is, this mm -hmm. is what it says, but it's incorrect, even though they're the ones who are not telling us to read it. And they're telling oh. us the opposite of what scriptures and everything is based upon that, especially since you look at a lot of the charismatic, everything is about this anointing of the Holy spirit. And you have to not only receive salvation, but then eventually afterwards you'll be, uh, receive the, be baptized in the Holy spirit, which mm -hmm. then you'll receive the anointing and you right. will know that you will have the anointing. If you can do these gifts and these signs and wonders. And uh, if you don't have enough faith, you won't be able to do it. And everything is all about like, it's almost, uh, it's not only tricking them, but it's making them just feel like, wow, well, I can't do any of that. So I'm not a Christian type thing. You're making them feel bad. You're almost putting pressure on them to do these types of things, which in themselves they're doing falsely. You look at, and I have no problem dropping names here. Uh, you look at somebody like Bill Johnson of Bethel Church and his right. angel dust, which people have come out and said they were one of the peoples who went to Hobby Lobby to buy the glitter and dump it into the air vent system yeah. in order to do this. It's all about experience. Yeah, well, and I actually have those people on tape admitting it. This is not a joke. This this is their so-called power of God. It's just manipulation of man. That's all it is. Yeah, and it's a demonic ritual on top of it, because I don't know if you've yeah. seen the videos of them doing the uh, crowns of anointing and the fire tunnels, and you see this type of stuff. Everything is about giving them an experience. It's not about the word right. of God. It, it, did you see, and it's still on video, and of course we shared this as well. Did you see, talk about demonic. Did you see Copeland? doing that communion service and he he mimics cutting his own hand and squeezing his own blood into the communion cup dude that, that is was, so demonic it's on tape that wasn't a mimic though he actually did it didn't he no i i think it was i think it was mimic is look i don't know what it was but it looked like a oh, okay or something but he's acting like he oh. but he's acting like he's cutting it's still the whole point yeah why are you mixing in theory even if it's symbolic why would you even this is the representing in remembrance of what Christ has done for us, his body, his blood. What are you trying to do to squish your own blood? I mean, the whole thing is completely satanic. Uh, it's yeah. like, what, it, but, but again, you know, here's the other thing. What they do is they install a false fear into people. The Bible says we need to be Bereans and we need to, to use a modern vernacular. We need to fact check these people, <laughs> right? According oh, no. to this book, right? Yeah, I, I use that very loosely. Trust me. Getting canceled. Uh, yeah, exactly. But we need to check them according to the word of God. That's a Berean Christian. That's a wise Christian. But these guys, anytime, even when you're going like, like dude, that's a little freaky to me. I don't think that's correct. You know, you're cutting, you're acting like you're cutting your hand, squeezing the communion, and mixing your blood with the symbolic of blood of Christ. What? But mm -hmm. then they've been trained, these same people who've been trained, it's all about experience. Touch not thine anointed. You have yeah. no right to question the prophet of God. He is man. What, what do you think you are? The Pope? Because that, mm -hmm. that's a lie. The Pope, the vicar of Christ, that means in place of Christ. He's supposed to be, and this is a false teaching, he's supposed to be the authority as if Christ were here on earth. No, he's not. He's just a man, just like these other guys, right? And we have every right as a Christian to challenge these guys and say, dude, that is so unbiblical. It's not even funny, right? But they've been brainwashed that I, who am I to question the it, it must be a new work of god and whatever is it no right and and that touch not thine anointing we deal with this in our aspect they, that is so wrenched out of scripture it's not even funny it has nothing to do with challenging somebody who is teaching something in error of the scripture it's completely out of context yeah it's i'm i'm very familiar with that i don't know if you if you know but i spent about six years in the nar church i was, oh, I was dude, you know all of this then <laughs> yeah and it's again it's one of those elements where it's like okay I, I don't necessarily think that the lord wanted me there but while i was there he's going to give me the inside knowledge so when he yeah. pulls me out yeah um, then you can blow the whistle on it exactly and so that's something that i've been heavily trying to do and a lot of that has because i was in there i heard that all the time and then when i came out and i started to go in the opposition 
I heard it all the time against me at that point. I was used to seeing it used towards other people. And it's like, this is, I mean, they, it, it's a cult. They, it literally is a cult that's in right. there. They teach you. And that's one of the first things that they teach you too, is you will defend what we are doing. Even though you don't right. know anything about it, you're going to defend it. And they do, man. I mean, tooth and nail, well, they will fight the, you. The, yeah, the CIA has a term for that. It's called brainwashing. Yeah. But no, that makes you a conspiracy theorist, which also the CIA created that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.